th this has been the trial of the century from a seismological point of view. I don't think there's been any prosecution like this where seismologists have been prosecuted for miscommunicating a risk. It's a very tricky business. We know that. Um, in this particular case, uh, it's very clear that the Italian system for communicating risk was flawed. Nature is fairly perverse when it comes to earthquake prediction. Uh, the problem is um, earthquakes happen all the time, and they seem to all start the same way. But most of them just start and stop, so you get a very small earthquake. Occasionally, one will start and then rupture a big fault that causes a big earthquake. So in some sense, trying to predict an earthquake is predicting when it's going to stop. And that turns out to be very difficult to do. But I think scientists around the globe are concerned that this particular prosecution uh, is going to have a very chilling effect on uh, scientists' willingness to kind of step out and try to communicate uh, what they know or don't know about hazards to the public and to decision makers that have to take action. One of our recommendations to improve uh, the system is to make sure that we communicate in appropriate terms. And these have to be in terms of probability. Scientists cannot answer the question, will there be a big earthquake or will there be no big earthquake? In some sense, the scientists in L'Aquila got trapped into trying to answer that question.